Hi, everybody. Happy new release day. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our first look, our first live look at 2019 Panini Legacy Football. 12 box, inner case, pick your team number one. A very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into it. Now, I know you see some blank names right there, blank teams, because we did a little bit of a, a little team random just to help move things along. So we sold 11 spots in this team random, and every name will get a team. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. So there's the team random list right there. Makes sense, right? Number one, we'll get the Broncos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's roll the dice. Let's randomize those 11 names seven times. Two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we got Edward down to Jeremy. All right, there you go. So, Edward, you have the Broncos. Cosentinos with the Giants. Andy Owens, you have the Ravens. Colton with the Eagles. Ryan L. with the Panthers. Curtis, last spot, Mojo, Bills. Glenn Campbell with the Vikings. Levi with the Jags. Glenn, you have the Titans. Kip Kip Hooray with the Los Angeles Chargers. And last but not least, Jeremy Mendel, you have the Atlanta Falcons. All right, so now we can print and rip. All right, and now we'll also have to select which inner case we're going to do. So I've got the case behind me. It's my knife. Thank you. I think I have no space on this table right here. It's pretty heavy. Two 12-box inners. All right, good luck. All right, so we'll roll the die, and we'll go one, two, three for the left side, and then four, five, six for the right inner. I guess it's just kind of awkward, but I'll sort of toss the die in there. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the side we're doing right here, and then this will be for pick your team Number two, or Z. <laughs> My twos look like Zs. We'll save that one for hopefully later tonight. There's the check mark there. Now let's open this guy up. Start opening the box and let's see what we get. So, can't forget about the base rookie card randomizer, so that'll go to one person in the break.
And all the anything that's serial numbered rookie cards will go to their actual team. But all that detail is in the item description, which I'm sure everyone read. All right. Now there's the official printout. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. And here, oh, and also drop this checklist in the chat. We're going strictly by that groupbreakchecklist.com checklist. I'm also going to tag all the, all the hits just to help out the shipping team. All right. So thank you, everybody. Here we go. Two autographs per box on average, 16 packs per box, eight cards per pack. You know, I got Barry Sanders on the box. So all the details there, stuff there. All right, good luck, folks. Here we go. All right, has anyone watched, um, you know, watched the other guys break any of this stuff? What, what, are, what are our initial impressions? It's a solid mid-range product. I think this replaces, I think they took some of the relics that they intended for Majestic and put them here. And then they, they also took elements from Classics, which they, they are not doing this year. They took elements of Classics and put it into here. Not not a true hybrid product, but that's where this product was born. We'll go just a tad bit slowly in the first box, and then once we get an, a good, good good idea of the like configuration and all that, we'll then start moving a little bit faster so this break doesn't drag. So it's already going to be a long break. So Gilo says, "I watched a little. I enjoyed it. Nice." Chromes look nice, some neat patches, cool. Yeah, the preview pictures that we saw on the Panini blog certainly look really good. So hopefully we'll find some of that here. No, Eric Bailey wasn't too thrilled with it. All right, we got our first autograph is Jalen Ferguson from Louisiana Tech. He will go to the Ravens. And that'll be for Andy Owens with the Ravens. These chrome cards are kind of cool. Just in the interest of time, we're just going to set these aside, Mike Evans Buccaneers, and we'll have them sleeved and top loaded before they uh, before they get sorted. I like these Legends cards here too. So as you know, Veteran Commons won't ship. I think these will ship because those are inserts. Lasting Legacies, of course, too. Um, these rookie cards, right, just the base rookie cards, we're randomizing to one person in the break. Everyone saw that in the item description. And these are considered inserts, so these will still ship. The Chrome cards will still ship. Only Veteran Commons won't ship. And obviously serial numbered stuff. And hits, of course, will ship. Ovs. And we've got Bryce Love. Nice. Two-color jersey and autograph. Stanford grad. That goes to the Redskins. 
Does this go into a 130 top loader? It does. Perfect fit. There we go. Patrick K with his Redskins. Nice. All right, so those are your two hits. I think we can breeze through these a little bit more quickly now. There's Dan Marino. Caleb Wilson, who has the distinction of being Mr. Irrelevant. There's Cousins. Colt edition of Peyton. And if I happen to miss a serial numbered card because I'm going a little quickly, don't worry, our shipping team in the sorting process will be able to, to see those. Although all the serial numbers seem to be a nice border on that parallel, so we should be able to spot it relatively easily. All right, so there's box one. Let me grab a... One of these. A lot of cards here. All right. Um, yes, Logan, you will get your numbered rookies, though. Correct. I think just the just the base ones. I think it's already going to take long enough for us to to sort and ship this stuff out. So that's just gonna help out, help the hits get to you just a little bit more quickly. All right, box two, good luck everybody. Alfred wants to know what to do, what, what, what we wanna do after this. Well, after this we're gonna do Bowman's best baseball. Then we're gonna. Then we have an open time slot at around seven o'clock Pacific, give or take, 15, 20 minutes or so. And then uh, I don't know, maybe more legacy. I'd be down to do the second inner case. I know flawless baseball was moving along nicely. Sam wants to get Pantheon done. Yeah, so I, I'd be up for. I'd be up for all of that. We break until around eleven o'clock Pacific. So the deadline for the last legacy break will be around ten o'clock LA time. So we've got a lot of time, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Go there. Get your spots. Get your teams. Alfred, you're with Pantheon. That would make Sam S. very happy. Uh, first two auto stay chill was uh, Jalen Ferguson and Bryce Love, patch auto. Ravens and Redskins, respectively. All right, next box. We got Byron Murphy, who I think is a Cardinal. See, this, this set is going to help me. So, he is. Nice. So that's going to help me start re uh, remembering where all these guys go. All right, Logan with the Cardinals. I think he was a high second round pick or something like that. Late first round. No, high set must be high second round. First pick in the second round? <laughs> Um, there is Juju Smith-Schuster to 165. Doug Baldwin to 165. So 
we'll kind of speed this up a little bit just because it's such a long break already. This stuff will ship too. The Chrome cards will ship. Eric Dickerson will ship. Nice Derek Henry to 100. And we've got Futures Jersey Nato, Jarrett Stidham from Auburn. Uh, Jared Stidham is a Patriot. We'll go to the Pats. That'll be for Karen and her Patriots. Maybe future Tom Brady, perhaps? There's Derwin James. There's Russell Wilson Gold. 25 out of 25. Nice one for the Seahawks. That'll go to Jeffrey. Troy Aikman. Leroy Butler to 199. Like these, uh, I think Rex mentioned this last night, and I agree with him. There's sort of a there's sort of a gintery, and again, I know it's tops, but a, a, a gintery gypsy queenish kind of kind of feel to it, which I'm okay with. And Eric Bailey, sorry, comment earlier. I think they did, uh, they they did. This does replace classics. And I think Majestic, too. But I think uh, Luminance is still, still exists. So they've, put the, they've hit the pause button on Classics and Majestic for now. So, so we'll, we'll see what happens to those brands in the future. They may come back. But sometimes these products, you know, it's always interesting to see these debut releases because if they keep going with it, it's cool to see the evolution of that. Take a look at when Spectra first came out and compare to what Spectra looks like nowadays. So a lot of, lot of evolution can happen with uh, any, almost any of the product lines. Well, I don't know, Sam. I've been, I've been breaking a lot, so I don't know how my baseball picks have been doing. But I know that I got Milwaukee earlier today. But I don't think I got Arizona. I think they lost. And then I'm on Pittsburgh today. They're down four early in the game. I'm on Toronto, down one. I'm on the Cubs. They're down one. So it could be another terrible day for me. <laughs> and then I've got the Angels and the Giants in the late game. Yeah, Josh Jacobs is, would be cool to see. I'm a, I'm a Raiders guy. Would like to see some Josh Jacobs. Uh, are there hot boxes? I didn't realize there were hot boxes. Are they auto hot boxes? I guess we'll find out. Auto hot boxes, parallel hot boxes maybe. So these will go to their respective teams, this Preston Williams. All these other ones will be randomized as a lot to one person in the break. Just the base rookies. We got Wesley Walls. There we go, for the Panthers. That'll be for Ryan L. There you go. Old Wesley Walls. I 
Out of 299, there's Dalvin Cook. Out of 299. And we got Gronk to 100. Two color jersey and autograph. That's David Sills, the fifth. And that'll be for the Bills. Sills, Bills. I can remember that. Buffalo! That goes to Curtis Gardner. One of the Buffalo Bills, last spot mojo. Sam, are you already asking for bucks? We're only three boxes in, Mike. We got another 45 minutes to go in this break. We've got a ways to go before we start appealing for cards. We've only barely scratched the surface of this break. Out of 199, John Elway. And there's Byron Murphy to 100. Oh yeah, this is this is not a four box break. This is a 12 box break. I mean, we've got. We're only, what, a third of the way through this break? Plenty of, plenty of time to go. A lot of time to go. All right. Good luck, everybody. We got more Legacy in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new release just came out today. Check it out. 12 box inner case breaks. Go get it. Make it happen. Brand new release. A nice uh, a nice mid-range product. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Gila is asking how much a single box. Um, I would say probably what? 90? 90-ish? Maybe more in some places, but I think it's around 90-ish around dollars a box. So that kind of gives you an idea of the price point. It's a it's a nice mid range product. Where it's it's not it's not like super expensive like like NT and flawless and all that. You know, sometimes we got to balance all that stuff out with some more affordable product for the masses. Good luck, everybody. Next box. got Travis Homer. Travis Homer goes to the Seahawks. That'll be for Jeffrey Toop. And that is also 21 out of 35. Little Jordan Humphrey to 25. Devontae Adam looks a little different. Yeah, that's out of 35. And Nikhil Harry from Arizona State. I think he is a Patriot, maybe?
Nikhil Harry is a Patriot. Did I say Harris? Harry. That's nice. Rookie auto for Karen. Nice. Timeless talents. This guy knows. Drew Brees to 100. And on to the next box. I know, it, it is. Well, I mean, I like it. Rick Barker, Atomic Card Guy, saying, funny changing gears, not used to this rookie class. Yeah, we have a whole new, <laughs> whole brand new rookie class to learn. But I think it's just in time, because I feel like, I feel like once we do so many of these products, right, once we get to around January, February, March, around there, you know, like, you start, you start thinking, ah, you start thinking, man, I want to start seeing some new names on here. We've been seeing the same names over and over again, you know. So it start, it's good to start seeing some new faces, learning the new players and what teams they go to and all that sort of stuff and really get excited about who is going to be the one that emerges uh, this year. That's a good question, everybody. Who, who is the rookie this year? Who's going to emerge this year? Kyler Murray is the obvious one that we're all rooting for, right? You know, we want to, we want to, that's hashtag good for the hobby if he starts, if he starts the season off well. But who else? Who else is everyone excited about? Yeah, as a Raiders fan, Jacobs is a, is a player that I'm excited about seeing. I want to say that I want to say that I saw in an interview with him. I think was, it, was Matthew Barry at the NFLPA rookie premiere. He was interviewing Josh Jacobs, running back for the Raiders, and he was saying that in in like the rookie mini camps, that he's been he's been used as straight up a running back, a pass catcher out of the backfield. They've been using him in a variety of ways. So, which is which sounds pretty. Pretty exciting to me. Nice patch, nice autograph, Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley goes to the Bengals. I wonder if he if he supplants Andy Dalton out there. Is that possible? Jason with the Bengals. There you go, Jason Bell. Gilo likes Darwin Thompson, the running back Chiefs picked in, picked sixth. Wayne wants to see Haskins succeed. Right, he's got history against him. Because, you know, no, not all Chrome cards, Logan, by the way. I want to wait for one to come out, are, uh, are numbered. Out of 25, there's Michael Thomas for the Saints. Yeah, Wayne, Dwayne Haskins has a Ohio State quarterback history kind of against him. So let's see if he can break that trend. That's to 100. There's Nick Foles, still Eagles edition out of 299. Looks pretty good. 
pretty solid. It's like a. The replaced classic. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a. It's like a eighty ninety dollar product, and for that, I think it's really solid. Oh, the autographs are like chrome. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. And there's some nice patches too. Like, look at this. This is out of. This is the the new Bengals quarterback. I don't think this is numbered, but you still get some nice color in there. I mean, we can't hit him, with, hit him with flawless and NT all the time. All right, there's Mac Wilson. Return of the Mac goes to the Browns. Glad there's another uh, a Mac we can do so we can sing Return of the Mac. There's the focus right there, Nikhil Harry again. There's Cam Newton to 199. And onwards to the next box. And after this box, we'll be halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, no Packers as of yet, but we still have half the, little over half the break to go. This box plus another six. And two hits per box, two autos per box, so plenty of time. Alfred's like, SMH, should have got the team when I first checked him. Yeah, especially with pick your teams. I encourage everyone in pick your teams all the time, when you see a team, go and get it, because you never know when they'll be snapped up. You know, I guess random teams, you can technically always, you know, I always encourage people to get random teams early and often as well, but, yeah, with random teams, you can always... Wait a little bit, watch to see if there's some momentum going, and then you can hop in on the action. But pick your teams, definitely. When you see your team, go and get it, especially if you have a good hunch. All right, good luck, everybody. Next box. I think we've got a nice idea of the pattern, so we've got a good rhythm going now. Keep the focus on the camera too. That's out of 100. Keenan Allen, who showed what he can do last year when healthy. There you go, see, we start to get more Notre Dame. There's Dexter Williams. Yeah, Panini must have just gotten that recently in the last year or so. They can use the name and they got the ND logo on the back of the card too. Dexter Williams, not Dexter Lawrence. Dexter Williams goes to the Packers. There's your Packers, uh, Charles, Charles Young. Some nice Notre Dame colors in there too. That's Siragusa, Tony Siragusa for the Ravens. Colton saying Eloy Jimenez and Vlad Guerrero Jr. both going yards tonight. Nice. That is, that is hashtag good for the hobby. So this Chrome card is numbered. That's DK Metcalf to 50. Why am I blanking on Where did DK Metcalf go? Why am I blanking on him? There's... 
Seahawks, that's right. There's Travis Kelsey to 165. Apparently, he's he struggles a little bit running routes, which is why he fell so much. Maybe not not a good not a good route tree. Everyone knows about the route trees, right? Um, but I feel like, ladies and gentlemen, with a uh, with the way Russell Wilson plays, you know, yeah. If 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 the play breaks down, and he's just a big he's a big target, you can just find when a play breaks down, you know. Just when Steve predicted that like he would be the best rookie out of all of them, right? Uh huh. Okay. Steve. Then, yeah, and then he also said, "I bet you Bosa gets injured right away." <laughs> and then Bosa got injured yesterday. Did he really? That's yeah, I mean, funny. Like, hamstring issue or something like that. I mean, there hasn't been that kind of hype around a wide receiver for a little while. Not since like, well, like preseason, like preseason hype. Yeah, you know what I mean? Those, like, um, those numbers at the combine, yeah. He's he's a he's tall. He's just he's, he's crazy. He's really humble. He's kind of... All right, there's Jeffrey Simons, Simmons. Uh, for the Titans. Speaking of the Titans, Jason, I was driving to work today, and I don't know what the, it must have just been a big Titans fan, but there was like this guy, I saw parked on the street, a big like white minivan, just painted, right, just white, and a big like fat head of Mariota on the side of it, and like a, like a big T Titans logo on the front, like Fender, and everything, just must be a big Titans fan, but it's just like big Mariota just, you know, one of these wow. poses right on the van. I I, 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 go, I was going to send you a picture. I drove too fast. Yeah. I hope he does well. Hopefully. If he has to leave Tennessee, then better. Yeah, Mary, I mean, it's like those guys, it's like it's like Taken, right? It's like Liam Neeson and Taken. They have a very specific set of skills. Yeah. But but you got to work within that context, you know, otherwise. Yeah, you got to adapt, like, like, yeah, exactly. you got to adapt and find a coach who can do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially halfway through this full case break, or inner case break, 12 box inner. Good luck, everyone. We've got about another 30 minutes or so to go. And after this, we will do Bowman's Best Baseball. And after that, we'll go through some orders and see what else we're going to do next. We've got about a dozen orders, so it looks like people want to keep going tonight. Anything else close or sold out? No one's given me the she gone. Looks like we have another team random for Pick Your Team 2. Looks like spots are moving in that already. So get your team straight up before Nick pops them into a team random. Um, what else do we have? That Flawless is down to 7, ladies and gentlemen. Flawless Baseball, that's a one briefcase break. It looks like we've got another Game of Thrones sold out as well, random card break. So after this break and after... Well, after this break... Before we start Bowman's Best, I'll go through some more orders and keep adding to the schedule so so people have a good idea of what time their break is going to happen. So thanks, everybody, for your patience. Yeah, I agree, Colton. Colton was saying a, little, a couple minutes ago that with, with Doug Baldwin retiring, DK Metcalf could have a huge role this year. And as I was telling Jason Jaspi, I was like, you know what? When's the last time we felt like preseason – Preseason wide receiver hype. Like big preseason wide receiver hype. Not for Amari Cooper, right? Not for Corey Davis. Oh, he wants to swap jerseys with Julio Jones? DK Metcalf? Nice. You know, and so Odell Beckham Jr. didn't get that hype until he made that catch, in, you know, a number of weeks into the season. But I don't think there's a lot of preseason hype, at least from what I remember when we were opening up 2014 product. So it'll be interesting to see what DK Metcalf will do. And yeah, with Baldwin not there, it's like, hey, Rook, time for you to 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 step up early and often. Oh, nice, Max Muncy with the, with a homer. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. We've got Jordan Thomas, Texans. So we've got some non-rookie autos in here too. That'll go to Michael Gallucci and the Texans. So that's our first autograph 
of two in this box. Here's Vaughn Miller to 299. We've got out of 199, Marlon Mack for the Colts. Kind of hard to see the text with the studio lights. Patrick Mahomes. It's out of 50. Oh, there it is. Patch auto. Oh, dual? Wow. It's DK Metcalf and AJ Brown. Dual autograph. That AJ Brown is? Is he Antonio's cousin? Or is that Marquise Brown? AJ Brown goes to the Titans. Yeah, he also got drafted before DK, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we'll see who that who's going to win that randomizer at the end. John Samson. Oh, it's Marquise Brown is Antonio's cousin for the Ravens first rounder. Yeah, Colton's like what John what John just said. All right, there's Leroy Butler to 199. Sterling Sharp to 100, Chrome. So that's a cool dual autograph. Out of 299, Leslie O'Neill. There's Brady to 199, Tom Brady. And next box. So AJ Brown for the Titans. Does anyone know? Um, AJ Brown for the Titans. Is he a Corey Davis replacement or just to help him? Uh, no, are you talking about the hits, Charles? I don't think that was back-to-back -back Packers. We had Texans, Titans. Oh, yeah, those serial numbered cards. Yeah, so you'll, you'll get those, of course. Sam says, feels more like A.J. Brown to, to help. Okay. Well, yeah, give, give Mariota some weapons. Yeah, I was just going to say that. If, if Derrick Henry can do what he did in the second half. Yeah. So if Derrick Henry can keep defenses honest and establish a running game, you know, and you got Mariota, throw to a couple receivers there, that could be really interesting. And I feel like Mariota gets nicked up with little injuries here and there that always feels like he's never playing at full potential. So if he can stay healthy, yeah, if he can stay healthy, that could be interesting just to see see what he can give you. He's got another, I feel like, I feel like Der, uh, um, Mariota's a lot like Derek Carr. They've got like another year or two before their teams are like, okay, maybe we have to move on, try a different, try a different angle. Colton's like if Derek if Derek Henry could play my Jaguars every Sunday, he'd break every record in the book. <laughs> I think Jaguars defense is gonna really bounce back this year. They had they had a weird season last year. I think they had they had the year where you know, where they were AFC championship, right? 
Then the next year was like that sophomore slump almost. Like, here's all the new guys. Look at this brand new defense. Sophomore slump. Then maybe Nick Foles back in action. What's going on with Leonard Fournette over there, Colton? Give us the scoop. You're, you're our ears on the ground. There's Charlie Joyner, old Charger. You're our ears on the ground for the Jacksonville Jaguars news. What's Leonard Fournette doing? Why, why, is, he, why is he pissing off Tom Coughlin? Or is Tom Coughlin just old and grumpy? That's for her Kip Kip Hooray and the Chargers. Coughlin wants to run things like a military academy. There's Adam Thielen. John Sanders is saying Tom Coughlin, definitely old and grumpy. He's a former military man too, I think. So I think he suffers no fools. He's always, he's, he's just like, you know, we're, we're playing professional football here. We don't want any kid stuff going on. No pouting. I don't think he does well with like millennials. And then from OSU, there's Justice Hill. Three color jersey and autograph. Justice is served to the Ravens. That's for Andy Owens and the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to tag the teams that got teams. And was it were the Ravens a, a team random team? Anyway, I'll go to Baltimore. There you go. Caleb Wilson again, Mr. Irrelevant. Oh, yeah, I think G-Lo was asking, who's the most successful Mr. Irrelevant? G-Lo, were you asking that? I think G-Lo was asking that question. I, I put it in my brain because I wanted to ask it at some point. Um, I don't know. I, it has, I, I think it's like some kicker, right? A punter or a kicker or something like that that turned out to have like a... 15 year career or something. Does anyone else know? The most successful Mr. Irrelevant, the last player picked in the draft, the last pick of the seventh round. Gilo says, yeah, he was asking. Yeah, 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 Ryan Suckup, right? Was the only one he could think of? Was it Drew Kerr or maybe John Samuelson was saying, that they throw a parade or a party, some like some city throws a parade and a party for Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, regarding Leonard Fournette, Colton saying that if Fournette doesn't produce again, produce this year or stays hurt again, he's gone. I mean, personally, don't think he's worth franchise running back money. Ensworth also also saying, yeah, it's got to be kicker Ryan Suckup who's the best Mr. Irrelevant. Cody West is thinking that. One dude was pretty good a little while ago. Tom Coughlin does seem to have a vendetta against Fournette. You don't know why? I think because Fournette was like acting like a baby on the last day of the season, I think. I think he was grumpy. Fournette was grumpy. He didn't want to play. Maybe in the fourth quarter or something like that. And was He was sitting next to another teammate who I think has since been shipped off. Jalen Ramsey, maybe. And we're, and we're just kind of like... Not really into it in the last game of the season or something, and so that led for that led Coughlin to like made make very thinly veiled comments about how young players need to <laughs> need to like back up their teammates in the last game of the season, which I agree with, you know, so something like that, and that's kind of spiraled from there. There's Josh Rosen, still Cardinals edition. Oh, yeah, there's that little that fight against the Bills, right? Yeah, Coughlin doesn't want that. Coughlin wants winners. He wants players that want to win. Just like Mike Singletary. And that's number two. There's Josh Jacobs, 165. I'll go to the Raiders. Well... I think with just how short the average 
There's Robert Smith. You guys remember Robert Smith? It's old Robert Smith for the uh, Vikings. That'll be for Glenn Campbell. But yeah, I think with just the average career of running backs being as short as it is, you know, I feel like young running backs, you guys have really have to buckle down and button things up. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid in this league. Look at Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, every incident that Ezekiel Elliott goes through, like that's that's millions of dollars off his paycheck, <laughs> you know, on what's already going to be a short career, the way, especially with usage. So I don't know why, listen, if you're a quarterback, you know, this guy's going to be around for a while, right? So you got to pay him first. You're going to pay him before you pay Ezekiel Elliott at this point, right? And there's Riley Ridley. I think is Calvin's brother, right? Calvin Ridley's brother? Or am I just making that up? <laughs> Riley Ridley goes to Da Bears. That might be your your Kevin White replacement. Who's got Chicago? Uh, Trey does. Trey Hyatt with the Chicago Bears. Ensworth is saying, yeah, Fournette just needs to grow up. But they're not going to pick up that fifth-year option if he doesn't shape up. Shape up or ship out, right? There's Nick Bosa. There's Raiders Cleveland Farrell to 50. All right. Folks, we're almost there. Just these three boxes left. Good luck. Yeah, Mario, new set. Legacy, which I think kind of replaces, I think it takes assets from what they were going to use for Majestic. So they put the, so Majestic is on hiatus. And I think uh, Classics is on hiatus too. And so Legacy is in its place for now. Yeah, Rashad, these cards do look cool. Colton's thinking, I feel like Raquel Armstead will have a good year backing up Fournette and possibly stepping up to get her. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. Ooh, Sam would love Fournette backing up Zeke. I think they did get a running back to back up Zeke Elliott, didn't they, in the draft? Or maybe it was the Rams. With Todd Gurley's bum knee. No, the card stock definitely feels nicer than Scourge. It may look like that, but it doesn't feel like that. It's a lot more sturdy. Andrew was saying Coughlin steered the boat right the first time, so the Jacks need him, need him to do it again. And the autograph is DJ Moore. He showed some flashes of, of being able to do something last year, so I don't know why receivers generally take. Although in this day and age, it's that time frame is short. Remember back in the day, it used to be like you can just say a wide receiver a rookie wide receiver's first season is kind of a wash. I think more rookie wide receivers are making impacts, but it still takes them, I think, a couple years to really get 
adjusted to the league. There's Mariota to 165. There's A.J. Brown to 100. I kind of like the flat color on the on this set. It sort of gives it a a warm feeling in terms of color temperature. There's Rodney Anderson jersey and autograph, futures jersey and auto. Rodney from Oklahoma. Going to Cincinnati now. And that'll be for Jason <phone rings> Bell and the Bengals. The Bengals. There is TJ Hawkinson. And at a 199 T.Y. Hilton, two boxes to go. So after this, um, I'm going to go through some orders keep adding to the schedule because I know there's a few things sold out already and then uh, we'll keep breaking and we'll go till around 11 o'clock Pacific which means if we want to squeeze in another legacy the last legacy break of the night would have to fill by 10 o'clock Pacific 10 o'clock LA time so just keep that in mind otherwise we'll have to push it till tomorrow so buy early and often on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we got Ohio State's Paris Campbell, jersey and autograph. And that goes to the Colts. I like the design of these RPAs too. Who has the Colts? That'll be for Ryan Rayner with the Colts. There you go, Ryan, on the board. There's Big Ben to 25. Two-Face Big Ben, according to Antonio Brown. There's Andre Reid for the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, stay chill. That's exactly what Rex said last night. There's a, there's a bit of a Gypsy Queen kind of feel to it, an old tobacco product kind of feel to it, which I think is nice.
All right, there's Josh Rosen, still Cardinals edition here to 299. I'm sure they'll have that updated in the next set or two. And there's DeAndre Baker. Got to work on that autograph, DeAndre. DeAndre Baker is a New York football giant. That goes to Costantinos. Costantinos, you're on the board. Towards the end of this break. There's Kyler Murray to 199. That's Kyler for Logan and the Cardinals. We'll give him first overall treatment. Sleeve, sleeve and top load that one up right away. What's everyone's feel on Kyler Murray? Personally, I want him to succeed. You know, I don't want to root for anybody to not succeed. I have nothing against Kyler Murray. But definitely for the hobby, hash, that would be hashtag good for the hobby of Kyler Murray. It maybe even does three quarters of what Baker Mayfield does. That would be great. Last box coming up. Yeah, I definitely need Eli 2.0, Wayne. To I need Daniel Jones to definitely start this season and play well and usher in a new era right there. Daniel Jones better surprise some people. That, that'll, be, that'll definitely be a hashtag great for the hobby. No, Jason Bell doesn't believe. He believes that Kyler Murray's a midget version of Jamarcus Russell. I don't know if I don't know if work ethic is an issue for uh, for Kyler Murray, right? Everyone says he works hard, and this is Kyler Murray. He was a Heisman Trophy winner, you know, and he put up some great, obviously a great system that he was in, but he wasn't a full time quarterback. So if you think about it, if he's that good, not being a full time quarterback, because he's he's think he's got baseball in the brain the other months, right? So he hasn't been a full-time quarterback yet, if you think about that. So if he's that good already, playing quarterback part-time, how much more could he grow as a player? If he doesn't get killed on the field. <laughs> Barry thinks Kyler would be RG3 2.0. It looks pretty good, Eric Bailey. I mean, it's it's great product for the price point, and it seems to it seems to move a little bit more quickly than I thought it would for like an hour long break. I don't think it feels like an hour, at least to me, as the breaker, which I always appreciate because there's is not enough to enough to kind of look at. You know, there's Keenan Allen to 199. We saw what a healthy Keenan Allen can do last year. Sage Hill thinks he'll be a Kyler will be a Russell Wilson type quarterback. That that would be the most ideal thing. But Russell Wilson, he certainly has. He's got to be as smart as Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, that's why he hasn't get, gotten killed. You know, there's Kenyon Drake to 50. Remember that. That play, that was that was one for the ages, as the insert suggests. Um, Russell Wilson is he can avoid the hit. You know what I mean. So I think that that's that's really the key. You, you avoid the big hit. Know when to run, when not to run. Take do take the slide. You know, don't take the hit. All right, there's Julian Love from Notre Dame. We saw him earlier, right? Julian Love is a New York football giant. Or was that Bryce Love? 
So another giant for Cosentinos. Chris Hemsworth said height will be an issue. Saw some highlights of him in cam. He kept jumping to make the throw. He's allegedly similar. There's Wesley Walls again. Allegedly similar height to Russell Wilson, though. There you go. Speaking of Russell Wilson, there he is at a 299. Right. Kyler needs to prove Eric Bailey saying that he can understand the X's and O's of the game. Time will tell if he transitions properly. There's Marquise Brown. Two color jersey and autograph. Nice. That's uh, Ravens, I believe. And I think everyone was, that people are saying, oh, this is Antonio Brown's cousin. Marquise Brown, Ravens, confirmed. Baltimore, that goes to Andy Owens. Nice. Late first round pick, I think. A weapon for Lamar Jackson. So Lamar Jackson doesn't get killed this year. <laughs> but yeah, Eric Bailey, I was, I was saying earlier, um, Kyler Murray, there he is. Kyler Murray has never been a full-time quarterback. Right? He's always he's always had been doing baseball part of the year. You know, so I think he still has room to learn, room to grow. And if he was this successful in his brief college career, you know, who knows? There's Marquise Brown again. So we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We made it. Thank you very much, everybody. We gotta randomize the base rookie cards. And we got to randomize this dual autograph, DK Metcalf, AJ Brown, between the Seahawks, Jeffrey Tope, and the Titans, Glenn Campbell. Two lists, one dice roll. So the first one will be for the base rookie cards, winner take all, from Logan down to Patrick K, and everyone in between. Everyone has a shot at it. Name on top gets it. Winner take all. And on this side, Seattle and Tennessee. One dice roll. Good luck. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times... Name on top is Jason Bell. You'll get all the uh, base rookie cards. So all the uh, rookies will go to you. Obviously, the serial numbered rookie cards will go to their, their specific teams. And then, come on, mouse. I don't got time for this. There we go. Uh, four and a four, eight times for this dual autograph. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Team on top, congrats to Seattle. That'll go to Jeffrey Tope with the Seahawks. Gets that dual autograph, Futures Inc. dual auto. Both Ole Miss teammates. I don't think this was numbered, right? Yeah. Oh, it was. 28 out of 40. All right, and there you have it, folks. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.